Hello there everyone and welcome back to TNO, the Lost Souls of Europe, I'm your host Mr. Mokalover. And right now we've just gone to war with the Soviet Federation of Western Russia and hopefully we do quite well. But of course there are no guarantees for success in TNO, but we'll see what happens. Let's see how well we do with our vehicles, yes we'll do quite well, quite 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 well, and we're in and let's go in too. Um, we might just let these guys rip, I converted a few more divisions to become 40 combat widths. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. I'm going to send you over here as well. And send one of you guys from there to Kungar as well. Kungar. Kungar. However you pronounce it. Whatever. Keep going. Keep going. And go that way too next. Thank you. And send you guys up there too as well. And it's eyes inside of the machine. Very, very nice. You guys. Uh, you're probably not going to win if you do something like that. But we'll see what happens. You know, you never know. If these guys could hurry up and help out over here, that'd be great, but, uh, the revolutionary designs. Awesome, awesome, there you go, there you go, help them out here, help them out. Come on, take them out, take them out. And they lost. That's sad. That's really sad, actually. And now you, oh, there goes Iberian Wars. Alright, goodbye, Iberia. Ah, uh, they threw an extra division in there as well. Ah, I see. I just wanted to circle two guys, man, that's all I wanted. That's literally all I wanted, just to encircle you, you guys. Keep these guys here, just in case, and you guys can't do anything. And now they die. We've lost 5,000 already, but we killed off 23,000, which is pretty good. Uh, and we'll see what happens. we got to make sure we use our tanks as effectively as possible. And motorized. Don't forget about that good old motorized. One, two, three-ish? I don't know, something like that, maybe. Let's give our guys some time. We probably want to boost up military spending for now. Some more bonuses. Because now we're out of artillery just a little bit. Tanks are looking not too bad, actually, so give us some time. Uh, increase the civilian budget boost. That's okay by us. And we can initiate a propaganda campaign here, but I don't think we will right now. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little bit easier for now. Let's do that and then follow it up with a boom, boom. Go down to there, maybe, and then a boom, boom, and go down to there. See what we can do. We've got plenty of infantry around here to keep us nice and content. Send half you guys down here. Oh, no. I need the infantry. And then boom. And then, boom. There you go. Something like that. Cool. Now these guys are struggling right here. Can you guys help out, maybe? That'd be really nice if you could. There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. It's only two divisions, but that's quite alright. And, uh... Actually, you guys, just hold. You don't need to take them out yet. There you go. Now they're gone. Alright, and next up, ooh, yeah, maybe we'll come down here and do one, two, three. Let's look at three more divisions, they're not that strong, but whatever. We lost about 7,000 versus 47,000, that's pretty good. Get some better planes on our guys, thank you very much, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself, maybe not perfect, but doing relatively okay. Revolution Designs and finished up with Invincible and Legendary. Great, great, great. So these motorized move very, very quickly, which is good to see. Got plenty of guns. Artillery's looking good. We just need more tanks. That's all we need are more tanks. At least for now. It is 1969. Just go ahead and start doing this stuff. There you go. Because right now, we're not really building too much except for anti-air and some air bases. There you go. You should do pretty darn eat well with that. There you go. Improving artillery as well, which is delightful. Thank you, thank you. Go, 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 go. I want to circle these guys and kill them off as fast as possible. There you go. Very nice. Head on in. Head on in. Oh, and they got all killed. Beautiful. And that's going to stretch up their lines a little bit more, which is exactly what we want. Because now what we're going to do is go right here and then do a bing bong and circle two more divisions. Let's really stretch out those lines. I, it really sucks that we don't get that much PP. We only get 0 0.2 a day with Boris Yeltsin here. Boris Yeltsin, uh, at least from what I've seen so far, I might prefer Pavel Batov, at least for any sort of campaign, just because, well, there's, there's, you get more PP. You can get some social development done. So, Invincible Legendary, great. But hey, I guess we'll get more PP now, since we're doing stuff. Also, um, these guys are killing each other as well. So we'll see what happens. Actually, before we move over there, I do want to show you what they're doing. 30 to 55, or 30 to, 33 to 50, 16 to 30, no manpower, so that's why the uh, Black Siberian Territory is doing quite well. 
It helps if your allies have no strength when you attack. Immediately begin helping an assault. There you go. We should do pretty darn well. And two more divisions have been encircled. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I, I did make sure that our... I think our divisions are 40 combo with here. Uh, these guys... They're, oh, 38. 38. Okay, that's not ideal. Well, make them a little bigger. There you go. Thank you. All right, not bad. Nay, I'm just that much stronger right now. All right, so what are we going to do next? I'd like to slice these guys off. So let's go here. And we'll go straight to Ulfeld. Boom, boom. T encircle two divisions if we possibly can. Now we're missing some what? Motorized wise, we've got 4,700 pieces of equipment left. Is it just? It's just tanks. It's literally just tanks. Oh, look at that. Yay. Um, poverty relief programs. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. A thousand times yes. All right. Let's head on down here first. Take off one tank division. Go down there. Take off one of these guys. Go down there. Take off one more guy. And head down there. Pick up one more gun. Go right there. Begin. Cool. Send some infantry down as well. Boom, boom. And then boom, boom. There you go. You should do pretty darn well over there. We should have air superiority as well, but you never know. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Just please do not get encircled as well. Or just hold out. Hang out. Have a good time. And pressure this tile to die. All but you are going to go right there. There you go. That makes it better. And then you guys go in there too. Three divisions. Crisis in Nanjing. Very nice. What we're going to do is do that, then do that, and then do that, and then do that. And I'm going to send the tanks up over here too. You guys go there. You guys will continue doing what you're doing. You'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six divisions have been encircled. And for the most part, pretty much defeated. Industry takes so long compared to motorizing tanks, but that's all right. Losses, 15,000 maybe? 20,000? 11,000. Versus 166,000. How much more manpower does Zidane have? Quite a bit. Up to 57 divisions. It's going to take a while to do. And that's okay. So you guys head on right here. I'll try to circle as many as we possibly can. Or something like that. Point going switch them to 40s. We don't have enough. Oh, we don't actually have enough manpower. Maybe not all of them. All right, so that's a case. You know, I'll not switch them yet. We'll do okay without switching them over. Tanks uh, minus 405. Give us one more day, so we're at minus 400. And there we go. Boom. And then take you guys off. Then go there. Take you guys off. Using the motorized to go as fast as possible is a good idea. Go ahead. And there goes Yemen and that group. And there you go. Beautiful. Head on down in, head on down in, head on down in. Actually, I'll send you guys over here, because you guys will head this way too. There you go. Nice. Let all the infantry come on up through here. Oh, they're actually beating us back, huh? Close off that po those pockets. There you go. There you go. Very nice. A whole swath of them just died. Up next, we need to get through these mountains. It's going to really suck fighting up there, though. I might just do this instead for now. Bing, bong, bong, bing. And now they're 300,000 pretty much. Not bad. I'd like to do a general attack, but we just don't have the resources for it right now. And the longer we wait here, the it's fine if we do that. Just because we can get more poverty relief. Because right now, we actually off-screen did get to political interference for our army, which is pretty nice. Poverty relief is going up by how much every month? Was it seven? Eight. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's actually really good. All right, and yeah, I'll go and do this one too. And how many tanks do we not have? Oh, it's better than earlier. Nice. All right then, let's head on into here. Follow it up with the lack of you, and then go up there, and the lack of you, and then there, and then the lack of you, and then there you go. It's a big old front. That is worth fighting for. You guys just head on in here. I'm going to start sending the infantry this way too. There you go. That's what we like to see. I don't want to do general attack just because that costs so much uh, manpower sometimes. 
Ba boom, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Let our infantry just figure out what they need to do. 13,000 losses. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. One day left for more arty, but I love the arty, so we're going to keep going for more arty. All right, boys, let's go down there and just... You're probably going to get a circle, but whatever. Let's go. Uh, you can save one take there for now. All right, not bad. You guys are down there. You guys looking not too good. You guys go right there then. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Boom. Works. It just works. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five-ish divisions were circled. They weren't very good, but that's okay. And boom. One, two, three, four. Pretty good. And a few 50,000 more soldiers died. Thumbs up from us. Let's do a budget boost. Ah, keep spending more because he can. There's nothing else we can build here, right? Ah, I can start building this stuff here. That's fine. It's going to be all ours in the end anyways. And gosh dang it, get us some more peepee. -pee. Boris, baby, why? That's going to take a while to get across. And do that one. Make it easier on us. There you go. Head on up with him. There you go. And better industrial expertise. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Excellente. There you go. It's only a single division, but whatever. Goodbye. So now we can come up here too. And circle an IFE. One, two. Well, let's we'll defeat the IFE. They have up to 38 divisions, not bad, and here we go. You guys might want to help them out too. Good, good, good. And then, boom. Go in, go in, go in, go in, and go in, and then go in. There you go. Very nice. I do like taking up this southern portion here first. I don't know why. Kubishev, one, two, three. I think for 36 divisions, 400,000 men have lost their lives for these guys. And stuff is going badly in Italy. Oh boy. Oh well. Uh, what else do we have here? Foreign instructors? Why not? How are the. Well, look, they. Or Kutsk is probably going to lose this one, but that's okay with us. Alright. Thank you for the sounds, Kutsk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys go right... Uh, you know what? You guys go here, then. Take off the tank. Go there. Just end up going right there. It's fine. We can encircle it. It is what it is. Uh, so let's take here the same Samara, though. Samara's really nice to get, though. If you want to just start beating him up. It's fine. And there you go. Alright, and come on, get down there. Oh, there you go. Cool. Except I'll send you right there. Finish him off, finish him off. Not very strong divisions we're taking out, but that's okay. That's all that matters. Happy 1970, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Now, that our line is stretched out quite a bit, but that means their line is stretched out quite a bit as well. Um, where are we going to attack? Maybe here-ish? And go from bing, bong, bong, boom. Because now they have up to 35 divisions. Not bad. And our tank-wise, we have only minus 230 some. Very good. Go right there. Just go like there into there. Something like that. Go, 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 Chris. You know, force the attack. Go, 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 go. See what happens. You're going to get encircled. I'm risking this quite a bit, but that's okay. There you go. Spain falling apart, but that's how we like our Spains. Spain is pain. Very much so. Taking a while for them to get over there, but whatever. Might as well just stay there for now. You actually might want to head on over here, too, then. Oh. There you go. And where are we going? We're we going big. And eh, go right there. That's fine. Not too bad. Good. Alright, so it's only three divisions we encircle, but whatever. It's fine.
Because after this, I don't think they'll have enough divisions to cover the entire line. That's good. That's good. I'm going to let you guys go right here. Hold the line because we're going to do a general attack now. Let's go in immediately. And send everyone here too. Let's go. We might not win on every single part of the front, but that's okay. Nice, nice, nice. We've lost 20,000 versus half a million. Yeah, we have more divisions than them now. And all of our divisions are at least uh, 20 combo with, so that's pretty good. Uh, construction. We could do that. Bonus for industry. That's good. Even though we just took these the territory, please start building up some civvies. Um, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. As well as this. For this bread, we thank thee. Thank you. And happy 1970. Better artillery. What's not the love? Oh, they really want to push us out, huh? Yeah, no, dude. You're not going to be able to do that. Especially with the tanks in the south. I mean, they're just going to be ripping through this area, hopefully. How many more losses can they take? Not that many more. And we're, we can't take too many more either. So. It is what it is. Do you guys not have orders? Go, 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 go. 37,000 losses versus 550 million. Fifth million. Well, maybe not million. That's a lot of guys. But 1,000, 600,000 almost. Good, good, good. They should be out of manpower by now. Yep, they're out of manpower like us. They have 40 factories left. 23 divisions max. Not too bad. Whereas we're going to keep some of our PP too, just to make sure we can course some stuff here. What the heck are you guys doing? And have you learned anything? Hopefully. Combine arms expert. Alright, don't remember selecting that one for you, but whatever. Go more offensive. That should help out all the battles that we have. And nothing here. Hey, decrease the poverty. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. For now, I'm going to think we're going to keep our PP for now. That'd be good. Capture the factory. Very good. The power of modern warfare unleashed. Oh. Okay. We're well, still 11.11 .11 billion, but whatever. Sictive car. Now they have up to 22 divisions, and they're almost defeated. And that's why you don't want Sictive car as your capital. You'd rather prefer Archongolsk. Maybe. Maybe. And they are gone. Locked and loaded. Now, go ahead and convert all these guys to 40 combo wits while we sell the manpower before we lose it all. Well, I'm going to let the tanks come on down here and have a good old time with these guys. More tanks? Yes, please. There you go. And there you go. Alright, everybody. Let's go ahead and... Well, I guess start integrating these places. Uh, Samara as well as Orenburg. As much as I love to do more regional development, it's time for Russian reunification. It will be known as the Russian Federative Republic. And start asserting influence in Kazakhstan. In which we will do... Uh, if you want to read about... Like I said, for pretty much a lot of these campaigns, if you'd like to read about the nuclear stuff, please go right ahead. This happens every single... Almost... Not all the time, but almost every single campaign, just because it's sort of generic for Russian warlords for this. So, we're going to start with the Atomic Age. Democracy Triumphant. Boris Yeltsin has finally managed to steer the course of the nation towards democracy, and the Russian Federative Republic has now been born anew. With these new developments comes new challenges. However, such as re reintegrating the territory we have recently conquered, as well as expanding our dem democratic institutions. With half of Russia under our control, we can finally begin realizing a true democracy, and President Yeltsin shall celebrate or hold a grand speech in celebration. Za svobodu Nazi. Nazi? Huh. Okay then, Yeltsin. Good, get more output. Hey, now we've got a million map That's not too bad. Hey, and our flag changed. Look at that. Or maybe it didn't change. Hey, there's Order 44. Good luck with you guys down there. That end of wonders. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Boom, 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 and boom. Nice. Oh, we didn't have any cast on our guys here. It's weird. It's all right. Totally okay. Let's try a budget boost. That's fine for now, and just go ahead and start building more civvies. That's the most important thing to do. You know what? Screw it. We'll cut it down. See, it doesn't do very much for us. So, IFBs? No, nah, not this time. We're okay. We got plenty of infantry equipment. Plenty of artillery, too. Look at that. We need more tanks. That's all we need. Just more tanks. Keep spending the money, though. We gotta build, 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 build. And then democracy triumphant and bury the past, huh? I like that we get more PP, which would be good for more integrations. 
We'll probably just attack Kazakhstan anyways. <clears throat> Coffee's pretty good too. Followed up with Bury the Past. Before we wish to continue any further, there is a skeleton in the closet we must get rid of. Prime Minister Yevgeny Primakov has had connections with the Black League in Omsk nowadays, naturally. He's no longer has ties to this group, but there is still evidence that remains which could cause a significant scandal to occur in a recent democracy. With his influence as Prime Minister, Primakov will make sure that the Internal Security Bureau cleanses any documents with his name attached to the League, as well as finding out who knows and who doesn't. Those who do will be rewarded handsomely for the silence. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. So it's good to bury the past. Sometimes. The president's speech. Friends, the president implored. This time on a much smaller scale with a much smaller podium than he had taken to it as inauguration. When I called up for democracy to be brought to Svedlovsk, I did not expect the outcraft support that was given. I thank you for your voices have allowed for a victory against any sort of tyranny. However, a pause as Yeltsin leaned in towards the crowds. The task at hand is more difficult than we thought. Even now, storm clouds of terror and dictatorship gather across the whole country. We cannot allow for them to bring us into an eternal night. I implore you to stay united and stay vigilant. The future of the Republic is in my hands, not my hands, but yours. Applause rang out as he slowly walked backstage. He spent hours traveling, speaking, pleading, hoping. But there was hopefully a light at the end of the tunnel. The president's gait shifted from confident to a rare public tiredness, and his photogenic smile faded. A moment of rest, a moment of sleep, and then back to work. His schedule was filled with stops at travel at, and he couldn't waste time. So he regained the mask of jovialness, the gait of an ex excited dancer and dreamer, and walked to the car. Where to next? And as you can see, I, we are going to go to war with uh, Kazakhstan. 1970, very good, 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 good. Awesome. Intricate Angles. Because it probably has quite a few guys here. Oh, uh, how many? How fast will we make? Uh, that's not fast enough. Send the infantry down here too, just in case. I mean, it's 40, 40 combo with infantry division, so they'll do probably pretty darn well. Don't want to get interrupted while we're doing that, do we? No, we don't. And a breath of fresh air. Marshal Batov is no longer a dominant force in our politics. He remains our security minister, true, but he has learned his place in this new democracy, and our people will be reminded henceforth. As time passes, the democracy of the Republic will be strengthened at its core, and all memories of the military rule shall fade away into irrelevancy to a new Russia. And authoritarian democracy support goes a little bit further down. Um, infrastructure, that'd be nice, that'd be nice. But bury the past and a breath of fresh air. A few small requests. The Internal Security Bureau agents did not have to ask questions when Primakov began to send sending small requests down from the top. Indeed, none did. Though if any of them had bothered to look at the whole picture instead of the small errands given to different agents with a level of secrecy, and the President's private approval over it, they might have noticed several links. For one, if anyone had looked at the piles of documents being phased out and burned, they might have noticed a few an ancient letters from one Evgeny Petrovranov to Yevgeny Primakov and pondered, why was a leading member of the All-Russian Black League in contact with one of our government's leading figures years ago? Or perhaps they would question the packages. Yes, the packages of cash were being delivered with letters all across the Republic to men and women. Former Black League members, a secretary to, in Primakov's own offices, a mayor, and a few others within multiple branches of the government. More than enough to allow one to start planning for a potentially early retirement, and more than enough to hopefully convince him to listen to whatever the notes said. Finally, one might question a corpse out of in the middle of the woods, just at a short distance from the capital, fresh, mingled to the point where, a fi where figuring out who it was would be a near impossibility, with only an unfinished scream etched on what remained of a face next to part of the wreckage of the automobile. If the dead could talk, they would have much to say. However, no one asked, no one looked, and neither did Yevgeny Primakov or Boris Yeltsin ever speak a word about any of these strange occurrences to anybody, aside from a small nod in private to each other and a quick changing of topics. Some things are better left buried, after all, as long as you bury them correctly. Gonna commit a crime. You gotta do it correctly. Just saying. Don't take advice from me. But just saying. Just saying, you know. Just saying. Anyways, let's talk about civvies. I love civvies. At least until a toolbox series comes out and, and I won't understand anything and, and which how to play this anymore, so. But we'll see what happens. Uh a brush a brush? A breath, a fresh air. Let's do this one next. Anatoly used to be, was used to the sight of his best friend drunk in the streets, however, what he was not used to was the lack of policemen carting him off, usually with disapproving frown on their faces and a stern, straight statement uttered from their mouths. Yeah. Here was Alexei yelling out of the top of his lungs with no policeman in sight. Down with Yeltsin, he chanted drunkenly, grinning and beaming on the street corner. <clears throat> No policeman came to apprehend the town drunk despite the occasional stare from a passing citizen and his rancorous yelling. Even as he yelled about the government, nothing, Alexei, Anatoly said, moving over to the older man with an expression of a slight worry. What are you doing? You've been arrested before. A hand interrupts his concerned intervention, going to his lips in a shushing motion. Before we live in a democracy. You can do that now, Alexei said with a grin. You mean, 
criticizing the government, criticizing what you don't like, criticizing the president, all illegal now. You can say what you feel and you won't get arrested for it. So I could call the president too drunk, too drunk, no, too sober, he laughed, and a laugh ensued. What followed became a blur as Alexei led the young man to the town's bar. Drinks, laughter, insults, largely in jest. From the president's height to the broken pencils he had on his desk and photographs, to the hands he had behind his tie. Anything and everything in the Republic was open to criticism, and everything was going to be criticized. To Yeltsin, for giving us the freedom to call him whatever we want, Alexei roared, as the patrons followed suit with a laugh and Anna totally cheered. For a moment, the younger man swore he could see tears in the eyes of the elder, but a smile seemed genuine. To think what could have been if we could say what we had wanted to before. What the elder? Hmm. Yeah, there you go. And to the New Republic. With a significant portion of Russia's territory now under our administration, we come to experience an unexpected and expected but still painful bureaucratic burden to bear. To make up for this to make this easier on us, we shall approach all the former countries which with we have had strong democratic backgrounds, such as a former Republican Sictive car, and discuss with the politicians who have lost their place following the collapse of the country. Their skills will help us integrate our new territories quicker and more efficiently. I get a little bit more stability, even though we're looking pretty darn good for stability anyway, so. Not too shabby. How are the civvies? Not enough. Just never enough. And we fish our war. Nope, yep, the anarchists did win, so. We have to wait till 71, but we're halfway there already. The brilliant flame of democracy? Yes, please. Lo and behold, now how freedom has come to Russia, we cannot sit idly by and let these institutions develop by themselves, however. The Russian Federative Republic must take an active hand in clearing the path by encouraging each and every citizen to think about what they are participating in, how they participate in it, and for those who are still on the fence to join us. Because we want to improve poverty here, my friends, as much as possible. It sucks just not having political power, man. Oh, and we do go to war with them as well. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Are we going in? Oh, yeah, let the... Well, the tanks are supposed to be leading the way. I forgot to tell them to go, but whatever. A free Russia? Who, who's to say a man can vote for whoever he chooses if he cannot read, write, or understand the natures of politics? Russia's education system has been on the decline for decades now, but we as a state are responsible for giving the people the tools they need to learn. Funding will be increased across the board to schools, teachers, supplies. All for the sake of a smarter, better Russia. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, at least we're out of that now. We hit him a little harder, I guess. Which would be good. Very good. And here comes the oil crisis. Everyone's favorite thing. Hopefully we can peacefully reunify with the anarchists. At least that's what I've heard we can do. But keep spending for this stuff, too. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, there we go. We're ready for the free Siberian territory. Stretch my way out. And actually, because of the supplies, I'm going to go and do this one first. And then we'll do all this stuff here, too. It's unusual that I'll actually do something like that first and build infrastructure. But I know supplies down there, because we have so many big, thick, heavy divisions that we kind of need to do that. So let them go on. Build, 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 build. Cool. Alright, not bad. Not too shabby. Back to Washington? Uh, Ooh, that's not too bad to do either. Susp suspicious Marshall, huh? Well, let's do a foundation for research next. I think that'd be better. Yay! And then and reintegrate the rest, the West. The territories of the Western Russia are not as tightly connected to our government as the territories we have initially expanded into. This problem must be rectified quickly. Every village, town, and region will be incorporated into the Russian Federative Republic, and is only a matter of when, not if. Very true. All right, so let's come to production. Ah, they actually made it before I was ready. Infantry division, go and train if we need to. Throw you guys all right there, and throw all you guys right there as well. There you go. Very nice. Any sort of supply issues? We're probably missing a few tanks here and there, but that's fine, whatever. Tanks are kind of hit and miss, because it just costs so much to produce. Minus a thousand, pretty normal. Pretty darn normal for us. Um, there you go, low by five, I guess, if we really wanted to. Could use more cast, but that's alright. <clears throat> and then, sweeping and privatization, we might be able to get rid of that later on, but... Much of our economy remains in the hands of the state. Why should it? Though we hold benevolent intentions, we cannot micromanage everything that goes on in our sight lines. A program of privatization will be, shall begin. The shrewd men of Russia will take the 
take the fate of our businesses into their hands and mold out of them prosperity. Mm, Paladar. Uh, that's a core on. We'll get a core on that one. So that's good to do. Since we'll be going to war with them, maybe. Nice. Technology's done. Awesome, awesome. We're using really outdated tanks here. And then, uh, oh god, economic shock therapy begins slowly worsen? Sure. The process is not fast enough. Boris Yeltsin, encouraged by members of the uh, business of the elite, has developed a new way of thinking, however. If the state can be pushed hard into radical reform, ending price control, opening up trade and foreign investment, privatizing state-owned enterprises. If such radical reforms can be enacted, we can reform our economy out of its communist tapor. There will be pushback, of course, obstinacy from the bureaucrats afraid of losing their cushy jobs. The rationale is that this will be the sharp change necessary to change Russia's economy for the better in the future, and doing so now will avoid greater damages later. Some may suffer from the upheaval, but they will be given their deserved share of wealth and time, as will all citizens of Russia. Yeah, if, uh, gotta love it. A little bit of pain now for betterment later on? I think that's worth it. Maybe at the cost of your political election. But that's okay. Back to Washington. Our friends in the U.S. of A. share ideals similar to ours. In fact, they are hailed as a leader of the free world, and rightfully so. There's much we can learn from the Americans, so Boris Yeltsin has organized a direct visit to Washington in order to foster good relations. May it end well. A friendly face? Ah, uh, very good. And at least our GDP growth will increase too. Very good. And a throne of bayonets. Though democracy has finally begun to find its shaky footing in the world of Russia, the military still looms over us like a sword of Damocles, ready for its string to be cut and for it to fall in our republic. President Yeltsin will organize a meeting with Marshal Batov and discuss with him in-depthly about the plan going forward. Both the democratic institutions and army elements must interact with cooperatively, else there will be even more conflict plaguing us, which is always not a good thing for us. I wonder what the, you, the Americans will say. As I try to crack my back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, there we go. Back to Washington, my friends. Followed up with, placate the military? Let's do this one first, the saviors of Russia. Democracy cannot be defended by goodwill alone. It demands protection, and protection it will get in the form of our new brave men serving the military. The Republic will launch a propaganda program to encourage more people to join the army, and to be more receptive towards the idea that we shall eventually march to war once again towards anyone who stands in the way of reunifying all Russian people. We can get that, but hey, 9.9%, not bad. 11%, that's better than 12%, so we're getting closer to getting that together. So the saviors of Russia. We get more war support, which we could use, actually. More manpower, that's, which is okay. I prefer PP, but whatever. Yeah, I just have no PP as Boris Yeltsin. Ah, oh, big sadness hours. So suspicions of the Marshal. No, Pavel Batov, Marshal of the West Siberian Republic, stated as he eyed the documents before him and looked at Yeltsin. Absolutely not. While the military appreciates your attempts at reform, several of these outlandish or in uh, some of these are outlandish and are incredibly specific. Yeltsin, President Yeltsin. The man continued to insist, reacted as he usually did to these simple statements. First, he grumbled and grabbed about how the Marshal's interferences was sabotaging the Republic. Then after a bit of heated yelling, he tried to compromise over the paper. Sometimes it worked, some usually it did not. Finally, give in and the meeting would end, but not tonight. Tonight, Pavel had questions. Why are our packages of cash arriving in multiple hands? What are you talking about with Primakov? What is the ISB doing? For a moment, Boris's eyes widen before his demeanor becomes cool. I don't know what you're talking about, he murmured. Just because I'm having a few meals with a friend doesn't mean we're going to talk about anything suspicious. There's a few sporting events, a few books, a few personal chats. As for the ISB, their activities are classified. What's up, What's this about packages? Pavel stared before a few minutes passed. Good night, Yeltsin. He practically spat before leaving the room for the evening. He was right about one thing. There was no proof of any, proof to any suspicions. However, his response, he's in on it, whatever it is. Oh, I wanted more PP, not losing it. Ah, but placate the military. The military can't keep standing on their feet, waiting for us to give them some sort of treat. To some extent, we will have to appease them in order to keep their influences at bay and loyalty in check. The Republic, thankfully, has some extra funding that it can funnel into developing new military technology. Whatever it is, it will have a double-sided effect of helping improve our army, as well as making them happier. Bonus infantry equipment and land doctrine, which, I don't know, the land doctrine... I don't know, I probably would have went with helicopters or something for that one, but whatever. Feed the beast! Russia cannot ever be unified if our army is composed of rabble-rousers and men who run at the first end of combat. The military requires the best it can get, and it shall deservedly get the money it needs to invest in new training techniques and ways to push our soldiers forward into the modern age of warfare, for the defense of the nation, for the defense of the people. Army professionalism, as well as industrial expertise, will begin to improve, or at least get better, at least for now. And happy 1971, everyone. Oh, well, I guess 
These guys do not want to peacefully reunify. I guess we can't. So. Us versus the anarchists. Who will win? Hopefully we will. But there's no guarantee. We can probably cut this down for now. But I don't want to do that. That'd be kind of a waste. Feed the beast. Followed up with Rise from the Ashes. The economy has been given the shock treatment it hit has needed ever since the time of the communists and the militarists. Likewise, the military's loss of power has been satiated, and we're beginning to reform into a proper fighting force. The ideas of democracy are spreading slowly and surely in the lands that the Republic controls. In the end, Russia will be the phoenix reborn, soaring above the superpowers with only power, pride, and democracy to show. Let the Russian Federative Republic live forevermore, and get more political power, finally, and get some stability and war sport, which is all very nice stuff. Ah, oh, Boris, and his Gazprom. Keep building. Keep building. 13 billion is not good. But that's better. 12.61 is better than 13 billion. Um, do we need to train anymore? Probably. A little bit. Go and train. Oh, look! We have nine tank divisions. Nice. Actually, at this point, because we, I think we, we have enough divisions for now. At least for the most part. We're going to keep making tank divisions. But lower this, because I want to save some of the tank. Well, look at that. That's looking a lot better. Ten tanks a day! That's pretty darn nice! Um, even though that's going to get hurt quite a bit more, that's okay. Uh, I would like to throw some tanks recon on our infantry, but I don't think we'll be able to get there fast enough. But whatever, it's fine. Rise from the ashes. Alright, quiet musings. In the dim hours of the night, Boris sat at his desk. The politicians, the staffers, the janitors, everyone had pretty much left his, this wing of the building. And in the dark hour, in this moment as mothers called their children to bed, as drunks criticized him in bars and nightly radio shows, he kept bickering and joking, he sat here at his desk privately alone. Was it wrong to have ambitions, dreams? He saw the way Batov looked at him, along with other doubters. Every single critic had something to say about the way he conducted himself, or his ideas, or his act before the press. But he had come all the way from being a political dissident to becoming the president, and now they were on the path to bring back Russia. Privately, they were right. He did want to become the savior of Russia. He wanted to bring her back from the brink, to nourish her, to make her strong and firm, and yes, he did have, did want the praise. He wanted his face to be in the textbooks. He wanted parents to tell their children how he brought Russia back from the brink, and he wanted to outshine Lenin and Bukharin and the Tsars, or the Tsars. Was it so wrong to be a legacy? To want a legacy? To want this to be as his legacy? Russia called and he was answering. It wasn't greedy or overly self-concentered. Any man or woman who would want the joyous screams of millions or the happy smiles of war-weary veterans at peace or the horrors of the past replaced with hope, he could give them that. He would give them that. Perhaps they were just jealous or thought he couldn't do it. Boris Yeltsin sighed once before taking a single brief look outside the window and he proved them wrong. He had to. And time to take another drink just in case. Yeah. Don't forget to take a drink. We could core more stuff, but I want to get this one done. I want to get research facilities better. Uh, that's looking not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Poverty is three, three and a half, it looks like. It's not going to improve anymore for now, that's okay. And uh, arms looking okay as well. And 0.26. Ah, not great, but whatever. Disappointing. I thought we could peacefully reunify with the anarchists, but I guess we cannot. Or maybe it just wasn't destined for this campaign. Alright, so how's one of these guys? Looking pretty thick, pretty darn thick. How many tanks do we have right now? Minus 230. Um, that's probably not really good to throw on t tank recon for our guys. I mean, that would help out. Those guys aren't looking too bad. They're probably 20 combo with max, maybe 10 combo with. So we'll see what happens. Um, well, we can get rid of these guys then. Goodbye. These are the guys I wanted to use, but alright, let's come over here. And let's do this one first because I don't want to hurt PP. Expand the Kurgan Mines. Very nice. Alright, 40s. We don't have nowhere near enough tanks, and we'll have minus... Actually, that's not too bad. 840 is not too bad. Let's do that one. Yeah, maybe a little bit less... Re Technically, I think you get less recon when you do that, but it's fine, whatever. Hey, look at our PP! We have so much PP now! Yes! This stuff can wait. Now it's going to core more stuff. It doesn't really matter what we do. Let's do Vyatka. And now, because we're trying to core all this stuff, we actually lose PP every single day! Oh my goodness. Not good, but look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and some. 9 some. And this keeps going up because we keep making more divisions, but that's okay because it happens. Oh, keep boosting it up so we can make faster, make faster, make faster. Alright. Not bad, not bad. And Strike Siberia, we'll probably do that. And let's get a quick look at how strong they are. They're. Wait. These are anarchists. F Siberian Free Territory. They're despotists. How are they supposed to be anarchists? Huh. Well, they got a lot of manpower, uh, they got a lot of divisions. But are the divisions any good? That's a real question. Uh, you know what? Let me core one more place first before we do that. We could strike them. The last war. Oh, there you go. 
Just in case, let's, let's stop training. You never know. They might actually try to strike us, so. Let's save our PP first, get this done, and then do some more of the uh, focuses. And which we'll probably do Onega next. I don't remember exactly the population of each one of these places, but... I think Onega? Is it Onega? No, actually Onega's not that big. That big. Bashkiria. Oh, I guess we could have done Bashkiria. Or Ufa. Yeah, that doesn't happen very much. That was my bad. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. We could strike them. I kind of want to be on the defensive this time, though. Because last time I actually went to war with the Zidanev. So. Eh. If we go to war, it doesn't really matter too much. There goes the Shah of Iran. Things are going to get a little bit laggier, and that's fine. Minus 900 some tanks. That's okay. Because we're making five a day. And how much equipment do we have here? 155,000 pieces of equipment. Very nice. Keep building, 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 building. Nice. And now we're... Hey, 12.38. Not bad, not bad. Study or source foreign materials. And there goes Iran. And time to chase the sun. Yay! Batav is still here. Lazarov is still here. Who's social democracy? Yegor Gurko? Ah, there we go. Nice. So they went to war with us. Where are you guys at? You're kind of all down here. Can we just do like a general attack maybe? Oh, we should have air superiority no matter what. And just in case, boost it up. Gonna cost a little bit more. Oh, uh, we're not winning in some areas. We are definitely winning in some other areas. We've lost a lot. They've lost quite a bit as well. Um, up to 88 divisions. 40,000, 55,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 soon, hopefully. Uh, resources are nice. Get some better uh, stuff here. The southern portion should do quite well, actually. The northern version, I'm not so sure of, but... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I think we're doing pretty okay. 60,000 losses versus 240,000. Pretty nice. Three millis. Uh, here you go. 70,000 versus 271, not bad. I know they got... Oh, Nova Sibirsk is a capital, huh? Over 73 divisions, less than 100,000 manpower. They've got less than 300,000, so... Not bad. Not too shabby. 100,000 losses versus almost 400,000. Pretty good. And now we have nothing to do for our... Uh, Focus tree, which is fine with me. Come on, keep going, keep going. The more you kill off, the easier it is to kill them all off. Ah, this part's gonna be a really pain in the butt to get rid of. Alright, so now let's hold. Let's hold. Let's, let, let everyone hold. Let everyone hold. Just kind of consolidate what we got. Let's plan a little bit more. And do what we need to do. And I'm gonna continue guys up here. Because the mountains down there just really suck fighting. Fighting in, so... Uh, Supply-wise, actually, it's not too bad around here. Not too bad. Going to regroup ourselves. We lost over 100,000 men already, so... I think it's time to regroup a little bit. You're not going to win here. I swear to God, you will not win here. Hang out for now. Uh, we don't really need any more divisions. There you go. I mean, if you really want that tile, I'll send you guys in there if you really want me to. Hey, better tanks, nice. Get some more armor on these guys. We could do that. We're missing 800 anyways. Uh, do anyways, why not? We get less than three a day. That's not very good. Almost half a million for 150,000 some. Oh, anarchists. Oh, anarchists. Not bad. Not, not great. But not bad. Oh, they want to attack us? Alright, well, that's alright. How's the air battles going? We've got quite a bit of air XP. They do have a, plane, a few planes, too. Interesting. Alright, give our guys some time to plan now. Alright, so you guys have almost no manpower. And now they're out of manpower. Up to 68 divisions. Way more than us, obviously. But we've got a couple more stuff to do. Oh, they're looking pretty bad for the motorized, just like us. Let's go. Let these guys lead the way, and then you guys help out. There you go. You guys, I don't want to force the attack. I think that'd be a bit too extreme for us, but that's okay. Alright, so now they should be out of manpower completely. 200,000 losses versus almost roughly 800,000. That's not too bad. They have less divisions than us now. That, there's no way they can hold out against us. 
Good, good, good. You're all... Uh, where was it? Bashkiri has got quite a few guys, so that'll be good. Get even more armor just in case. Anyone have upgrades? Like it was part of Iran? Yes, someone does. Nice, nice, nice. Up them out right there. So we've lost a quarter million versus 800,000. So, I mean, this is why you don't want to place anarchists. They just kill off all, all the guys. They kill off a lot of people. So, it's unfortunate that they're so ignorant. There you go. Core, 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 core. Up the 44 divisions left. And the tanks are still doing pretty okay. Not great, but still pretty okay. Completely out of manpower, which is nice. There you go. They cannot replace our losses. And soon we won't be able to either, but that's okay. Um... No manpower. 37 divisions. In five days we get slightly more manpower, which would be nice. I mean, why would you... Why did the anarchists want to kill off a, th a million manpower? They could have peacefully reunified. They could off... What? One... One and a quarter million? What, for what? For what reason? You bunch of anarchists. Was it really worth it killing off Russia? Killing off the sons of Russia? Nope. Param, thank you. You know, keep boosting it up for now. That's fine with us. Armored skirts, nice. Even more. More, 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 more. And what's already missing besides things? Artillery as well. That makes sense. Use more artillery. These guys have been completely cut off, which is good. Go in, kill them off. No peace for these guys. <clears throat> Almost 300,000 losses for us. Over a million for them. I mean, what was the point of this? Do you not realize that we have to go fight Germany after this too, anarchists? They want to fight to every last man and woman and child? So be it. So be it. It does take a while to get across the area here. Uh, actually, I'll send you guys here. It's fine. Oh, idiots. Idiots, all these guys. Why? Why do you want to kill off your manpower like this? Octobi, thank you. You know what? Force the attack now. We're not messing around anymore. Kill them all off. Should have got this one to give us 30% more land attack. That one's extremely strong. 15 billion, still not too bad. You find them, you kill them. One and a half million have lost their lives for nothing. Absolutely nothing. There you go. We could advance our development, but we got other things to spend our PP on. Alright. Tank's not looking great, but it is what it is. Hey, 147... 174 billion, and... GDP is not bad. Hey, and they died. Yay! Keep going, guys. It's going to take a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Not that much longer, but just a little bit longer. How many tanks are we missing? Minus 1,500, 1,300, 2,300. That's quite a few good tanks. I'm uh, going to advance the next phase. That makes more sense to do that now. Yeah, we haven't taken that many more losses, but neither have they. Uh, how, actually, how are our generals? Wow, these are really extremely good on defense. Wow. Wowzers. And you guys are 5 on the attack. You're kind of balanced, and Batov is not too bad either. Oh, 
Is that it? Hey, we got him. So, Anarchist caused the death of one and a half million people, so... <sighs> Anarchy, not even once. But, that's pretty much going to be it here for this campaign. We're going to probably get another event regarding uh, the war. But we'll see what happens. Oh, we need to reunify the motherland. There we go. Let's do that. A new Russian Republic. Who would have ever imagined a democratic Russia? Cool. A man must live like a giant, brilliant flame and burn as brightly as he can. In the end, he burns out. But this is far better than a little mean, than a mean little flame. Boris Yeltsin, end of the past era. And that's going to be it. So, Boris Yeltsin, definitely an interesting experience to play as. I personally probably would prefer Botov just because of the, how much extra PP you can get. Um, you definitely don't get nearly as much debt as Botov, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you, did you see my... Uh, Botov campaign. Can you? What do you think of it compared to the Yeltsin version? After we be, get to the regional stage of the Focus Street for Svedlosk. But if you enjoy the campaign, nonetheless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will begin probably another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.